It's Amy Marie. Welcome to tea time number two. So today's tea time, I wanted to talk about a few things. Just update you guys. I want to tell you what I was reading too, because I just started reading this new book that I really like, um, and also tell you about today's tea. Today's tea is actually courtesy of my mom, my mommy. It's mugwort tea. It comes from the mugwort that she grows in her garden. It's very good for you, especially for women. It's really good for just like regulating your hormones. I don't do it as much as I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to drink it every single day. I usually drink it like. Um, two or three weeks out of the month. You can actually make enough so that you can put it in the refrigerator and just drink it over the next week and that way you don't have to make it every time. It's really great. Great for regulating your hormones. Great for my ladies for your moon goddess time. If you know what I mean. It's a bit bitter but it's good for you so it's worth it. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the amount of videos that I'll be doing. I won't be doing the videos two times a week anymore because it's actually becoming a little overwhelming. Now it may seem like two videos isn't that much and I guess if you look at some YouTubers who actually post videos maybe three times or daily, it's not, but the amount of time that it takes to make each video, especially editing, the editing and then uploading, it actually like it actually takes its toll as far as the creative space that I have. Um, it's just like, it's just a lot on top of the other things that I'm doing. So I was like, oh, I hate to do this, but it'll probably be one video a week, maybe more. But for now, it seems that one video a week is probably the best that I can do. Complete side note, I know I was telling you guys about the makeup forever. I really like it. I'm still loving it. Um, there's another product that I've been using, Dr. Jart water mask. I don't have it with me because I've just been sampling it. A few of you were telling me about, you know, your dry skin and I told you in the comment sections about it, you know, as far as like I'm using it, but I'm not technically recommending it yet because I'm still in the sample stage. They gave me a lot of samples actually, so I'll probably be sampling it all month, but so far I love it. I use it just about every night and I've been putting it in my, you know, especially dry areas. You can use it all over your face too, but I haven't really needed it everywhere, so I'm just been focusing on here. Um, and it's really, really been working great. I think after I finish the samples, I will purchase the product. It's kind of amazing. It's kind of amazing in conjunction um, with the other things that I've been using, as you saw in my January favorites video. I think that's the one where I told you guys about the moisturizer the cool blue hydrating serum. Yeah, all that stuff. That stuff is working great in conjunction with the Dr. Jart water mask. It's a Korean company. That's working great. So far, so good. So I am currently reading The Girl on the Train. The Girl on the Train? Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Most of the time I plan what I'm going to read, especially because I'm a moody reader. So I'll plan like my next three or four reads and then I'll choose, you know, one depending on how I'm feeling. But there is a certain satisfaction that you get by just going to the bookstore, being interested in a book, hearing about a book. I've, I've heard a lot of great things about this book. And then just picking it up and starting to read it right away. Maybe there's just the spontaneity of the whole thing. But I don't want to tell you too much. All I know is that there's a woman on the train who watches people and she kind of makes up names and lives with a specific couple that she passes on her train ride going to work when the train's going pretty slow. And as thrillers go, something happens, she sees it, and everything changes. It's not too long. It's actually a pretty quick read. I won't promise that you'll like the characters. You may actually detest the characters, but I don't think that's the point. The point is that we're looking into some disturbed people. Yeah, some disturbed people. So, what else was I going to talk about? What else shall we cover? Oh, duh! I'm going to the UK. I'll be coming to you guys. I will be in the UK. Well, let's back it up. Let's back it up. I will be in Atlantic City on February 6th, so I will probably tweet you guys or tweet something about that, but I will be there. And for those of you in the Middle East, I'll be in Abu Dhabi on February 11th at Saks Club. Abu Dhabi, and then on the 14th, which is Valentine's Day, I'll be at Armani Privé in Dubai. So definitely come out, and I would love to see you guys. That would be a lot of fun. And for those of you in the UK, I will be in the UK next month. I will be in the UK March 26th. Hold on, I have to check. Okay, so this is the poster for my UK tour. I'm doing a short UK tour. I'm going to be performing with my band, which is going to be a lot of fun. So we'll be in the UK the 26th, the 27th, 28th, and the 29th. And that's 
Nottingham, Manchester, Birmingham, and London. It'll be a lot of fun. Definitely come see me. I would love to see you, even if you know me from music or if you just know me from booktube. We can talk bookish things. I can talk books all day. So that's where I'll be the next couple of months. Atlantic City this weekend. Next week I'll be in Abu Dhabi and Dubai, and then I'll be in the UK in March, the end of March. So love to see you guys. Some of you guys were also asking me about candles and like which candles I like to use. Um, I actually like Value Spa a lot. However, I'm trying to investigate more as far as the candles that I'm using because, you know, I did some research and there are certain things like paraffin basically is like a byproduct of petroleum. That's why sometimes you get the, um, the soot. You can kind of feel it in your throat and it can cause a lot of indoor pollution in your home. So a lot of candle manufacturers have been going to say soy, coconut, different blends like that. But the catch to that is is they still have some paraffin so when you see something that says like coconut blend or soy blend coconut blend 70% they don't tell you what that other 30% is so there's a good chance most likely that that other 30% contains paraffin and that's what I haven't been liking Now, what I've been seeing that's been really really great that I haven't tried yet are beeswax candles it doesn't cause indoor pollution so it burns clean it's not toxic at all however the throw as far as like how far the fragrance goes outside of the candle is not very large and that's kind of like a, a negative I haven't tried one myself but from the research I've done all signs point to going beeswax or at least a beeswax blend um, again volume Body Spa is still my favorite as far as like I love their scents. They now have a coconut, apricot, and some kind of other blend going on. They're not sooty when they burn, but as far as that whole indoor pollution thing, I'm not sure where they land on that scale. So I'm not really recommending any candles to you guys right now until I find out more information. That's where we are with the candles. So that's our tea time for today. If you have any questions that you want me to answer in the next tea time, just put them in the uh, comment section below. And as always, if you like the video, please don't forget to like it, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, if you guys are in the UK, in Dubai, and in Atlantic City, in New Jersey, I would love to see you guys, so definitely come through if you can. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for tea. Bye. The Walls Around Us by Nova Red Suma. Now this book comes out March 24th, so it's not out yet, but I will remind you guys when the time comes because I definitely think it's worth reading.